Hey everybody, this is eTradeSupply.com and today we're going to have a look at the LCD and digitizer assembly of the brand new Lumia 928 and we're going to compare it with that of the 920. Now as you can see both of the LCDs look very similar, however the 928 is a little bit taller than the 920, however both of them have the exact same size LCD at 4.5 inches. Now the biggest difference between the two LCD and digitizer assemblies is the construction. Now as you can see on the old 920, what they've done is they've used a front housing in order to attach the digitizer with the LCD. While on this new model, the 928, you can see they've gone down the same road as Samsung and Apple and have just attached all three layers directly together. So let's have a look at the 920 to see how it's attached together. I've already loosened up the adhesive which goes all the way around the ledge of the phone. So after this I can open it up and you can see on the inside that the LCD is attached directly to the front housing while the glass and digitizer do not even make contact with it. And because these pieces are not attached you can see they have two separate flex cables each of which needs to be plugged into the motherboard separately. And there's a third flex cable up on the left side which is for the volume keys. Now having one last look at the 920 you can see that the glass and digitizer are attached together by an optical adhesive. Now this makes it extremely difficult to separate the two pieces, actually almost impossible without expensive tooling. And you'll see that this is very similar with the new 928. Now if we take the 928 assembly and turn it to the side, you can see that the three layers are all attached together with optical adhesive. Now an optical adhesive covers 100% of the surface in between the layers. Now what this does is it keeps out unwanted dust because there's absolutely no space in between the layers and it also reduces unwanted reflections from light. Something else they've done with this model is they've taken three flex cables and reduced them to one which attaches to the motherboard by soldering these ones together. So you have the digitizer, the navigation, and the LCD flex all combined with just one flex cable that needs to be attached to the motherboard. Now if we compare this with that of the S3, you can see that on the S3 it also has the three different flex cables. However, instead of being soldered together, they're clipped on so they can be unattached. So this new feature is also going to make it more difficult for people who just want to change either the digitizer or the LCD and not the entire assembly. So once again, we showed you here first, eTradeSupply.com, your number one source for cell phone parts.